means I'm not guilty, um, but I'm not innocent. And this guy's over here eating his daily chicken minis that he do not be wanting to share. And then, and then you see the text messages between the best friend, which was the girl, not the wife, the, the wife best friend, who was also the husband side chick. Yeah, T, real hot T. Oh, you know I bring them nuts for you, baby. I got the nuts. A uh, bridge fell, and they just gave an update that six of the bridge workers are unaccounted for. By the time now. she take a nap, it'll be tomorrow. And I texturize my hair. That's one of the worst things I ever damn did. Check out her website. Check out her website. This is going to be a quick grocery haul. This is everything that we got. So I love Marshall's jewelry section. These ones, all right, and it's green. Little 40. Found this candle. I've been looking for them everywhere since I found them on clearance. And I mm. just leaving court in georgia y'all remember i got that super speeding ticket when i was in atlanta in january for chelsea's vision board party they ended up withholding the adjudication basically means i'm not guilty um but i'm not innocent they're not gonna report it to my insurance but i still do have to pay 566 for this freaking ticket and what's crazy is when we was on the way down here we seen the exact cop in the exact same spot where they clocked me over on the overpass. But I'm headed to the car now. Darius drove me down here because the weather was real bad, real nasty. And he needs to get back home to get back to work. So he about to have some shit to say to me because we didn't expect it to take this long. Let me tell y'all what happened in court. First of all, I don't know if I will ever drive in Georgia again. Like I'm flying if I'm coming to Georgia and then I'm Ubering around because the the police here on the highways is freaking crazy. They are on every block and then the way court works here is extremely crazy as well, at least in this little city Ashburn. So typically in Florida, we get called based on like alphabetical order. So my last name start with a B. So you know, if we ever be in some shit with court, we in and out that thing. So that's what I'm thinking gonna happen today. It's first come first serve. And then the lady, I don't know if she's a prosecutor prosecutor or what, but she was taking her sweet time. I don't know if she was doing like many, many trials, but this one guy was up there telling his story for like 20 to 30 minutes. Everybody huffing and puffing. The judge had to come down off the stand and tell her, uh, speed it up, man. Speed it up. People got shit to do. You want to speak to the vlog? What's going on, vlog? She got me late, as always. Stuff never go according to plan with her. Plans always change, all that good stuff. So now I got to do 100 on the dash. Dodge the police from down low to up top mm. and get to work on But yeah, we about to head back to Jacksonville, y'all. And we'll pick up and reconvene there. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't tell you. Um, they withheld a adjudication. I got to pay the ticket. The ticket is 566 and I got 60 days the ticket to ticket is 566. The ticket is 566. Why the fuck the ticket that much? That's what they charge in Georgia. And apparently she said that's a discount. Another rainy day in Jacksonville. Good morning, y'all. It is Thursday and I'm on the way to take this guy to school. We got a variety of different things to do today. I'm not even about to get y'all a to-do list because every time I do that, it'd be like, look at that bird trying to get hit. It'd be like um, jinxing myself because none of this shit never happens. So y'all just gonna see as we get through the day. 
but yesterday we got back from Georgia and it was just real rainy and groggy and we ain't do nothing. I laid in the bed. I um started editing this vlog and that way I can get a head start. Um, what else did I do? I made me a little schedule for the week. Like just, you know, preparing, content planning, that type of thing. And um, I signed up for TikTok shop because apparently it's the bag over there on TikTok shop. And you know, we all bought a bag. So uh, with TikTok shop, basically it kind of works like the Amazon affiliate thing. But what I love about TikTok shop is a lot of people send you free samples. And a lot of people been reaching out to me and I didn't even realize. So I did that last night. And yeah, now we're here. Good morning. Took Nora out this morning. And this guy's over here eating his daily chicken minis that he do not be wanting to share. I always be trying to get my mom tax. Don't be trying to share for the vlog. Oh, he being nice to y'all. <laughs> the only time that I don't share because you be seeing it on the last one. Oh, so if I if I ask for like the first, second, or third, I'm good. But I can't ask for the fourth one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know. Thank you for clarifying. Okay, well, let me get that second one up out you. Mm -hmm. And your hands a little ashy, baby. What are you doing? Put some of this on because what they're not gonna say is gray sun came in this mud ashy. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, he eating his Chick-fil-A. We probably gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts because I was up late last night doing all the stuff that I told y'all I ain't gonna sleep till like two o'clock, so I am tired, but I got shit that I need to do today that cannot wait. So we're gonna have to go get us a coffee with the extra shot of espresso. And then probably drink a Red Bull later on as well because I need all the little energy. Got my chicken mini. Put some grape jelly on it. What y'all eat y'all chicken mini with? Don't tell me y'all ain't never had Chick-fil-A chicken minis. If you ain't never had Chick-fil-A chicken minis, like what? Please get out that from under that rock with Patrick. Please get out from under that rock and go try you a four piece if you have not had it. Try one by itself because the, the bread just melt in your mouth. And then try some with some grape jelly because the extra sweetness just make it hit. Sometimes I even ask Chick-fil-A for an extra piece of cheese because I be wanting cheese on mine. I'm just a fatty, but try Chick-fil-A um, minis. You might head though. Drop your mouth. Dunkin' Donuts. And then I'll see y'all back at the house. Love you have a wonderful blessed day. Thank you. I remember I, I was a safety patrol. Was any of y'all was a safety patrol when y'all was growing up? I was one in fifth grade. Yes, I was a rental cop. And I went to Washington and everything. It was such a wonderful trip. I think that might have been one of my first solo travel uh trips. Cause I always traveled with my mama when I was younger. But that was the first time when I was in fifth grade, I actually traveled by myself, no family members, no nothing. It was a fun trip, nice experience. We went to the Amish communities, but that was way back like in the 2000s. But let's go ahead and head to Dunkin' Donut. I got a story to tell y'all, a post that I seen, but I'm gonna talk about it when I'm in the line at Dunkin' Donut. All right, so I made it home. Um, I just got out the shower. I put some of this in my hair which is the honey hydrate it's like a leave-in conditioner i love this because it's not white i hate to see white casts on my hair even though some of the products that turn white when you put it on it dries clear but i st it still bothers me but i love that for that reason it's also really hydrating and it's good for low porosity hair so i put i rinsed my hair out did like a co-wash in the shower and then i put that in my hair and i just let it sit and i was in the shower like just playing and curling it kind of so it's enough curl in here to where I don't feel like, or I, don't, I feel like I need to, but I don't want to. Let me correct my words. I don't want to do shit to my hair. So I'm trying to make it look decent because I want to film a video on my current skincare routine. And that way I can post it on Amazon and TikTok shop so I can get some of them affiliate link coins. Because I got this and I showed it to y'all before and I really love these, the Snail Mucin. This is the serum. Yeah, this is a... Serum in a sense, um, not a true moisturizer. This is the moisturizer. So I wanna make a skincare video showing uh, how I use it, what I think about it. And I'm gonna post it on TikTok and then I'm gonna post it on Amazon. I'm gonna post it on TikTok and Amazon. I can actually tag the products. When I post it on Facebook and Instagram, I'm gonna have to either tell them the link is in the comments or go to the link in my bio. So that's what I'm preparing to do right now. Um. 
I'm about to do my edges because like I said, I feel like the shit that I did in the, in the tub made my hair look somewhat curly, somewhat decent. So I'm just going to brush my sides and do my edges. But while I'm doing that, I was telling y'all, I had a story time to tell y'all. It is freaking crazy. I don't know, like, I just really, I'm so comfortable in the roll out the bed look. But I know it's not appropriate and women should carry themselves better. But when you just roll out the bed and you get to brush your teeth and you carry on, that'd be the most relaxed and best feeling for me, at least. Comment down below if you agree. Now I got to do all this shit to look like something. <laughs> but the story time, back to that. So I was on Facebook and I seen, do I want to curl that side? I might not. But I seen... I like these little curls right here versus how it look on this side. I see in this post and it was like a bunch of text message and I love to read a text message post. But basically the gist of the story was screenshots this lady found between one of her best friends that was her maid of honor, bridesmaid, and her husband. So the first set of pictures you see is everybody, the whole bridal party, the girls look like they was in the room getting their makeup done, getting prepared for the event. Like real cute vibes. And then, and then you see the text messages between the best friend, which was the girl, not the wife, the, the wife best friend, who was also the husband side chick. Yeah, T, real hot T. But um, the best friend who's also the husband side chick. So they're on their honeymoon. So all this, this secret has been a secret the whole time while they've been together, while they've been engaged, shit, even during the wedding, but now they on a honeymoon. And something just tell her to check his phone, child, and she checked his phone, and apparently, because I think she said he was on his phone late the night, like he was just paying his phone a lot of attention, like something was going on, and she kept asking him what was wrong, what was wrong, and he kept saying nothing. So she went through his phone a little later to find He's in a heated discussion with her best friend and the best friend is mad because he's showing her lack of attention during the whole wedding process and the honeymoon process. And he like, babe, I love you. How can you say this? You knew what this, what it was when we was getting into this. Just um, bear with me. It's a traditional wedding. You know how things go. You was part of the wedding. I'm like, baby, look, this, this, it's, it's too much. So she found out that her best friend was sleeping with her new husband on her honeymoon. In the post, it didn't say what she did, but I would have had to get me a quick annulment, a real quick annulment, which I would have did. Like you got some people that are super religious and they feel like divorce is never an option once you get married, once you married, you married. But if I feel like I want to slide, I'm gonna slide. And especially that early in the marriage, I know they don't got no assets together, none of that. So it'll be an easy move the hell along. And that shit was crazy. And even in the prior messages, you seen him talking about, thank you, baby. For the ride this morning, both rides. First of all, where y'all was? Where y'all was going? Where she took you to? And what other ride you talking about? Because if you in the car getting the ride, what other ride? You talking about a ride, ride. Oh, so my best friend was riding you. Baby. I think that's one of them blackout moments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Child, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm about to, because I, I feel like my, my hairline is too wet, so I need to let my top curl. I'm about to let the top, uh... I mean, let the top dry to curl. Let the top dry, and then I'll be able to do my edges. So I'm about to go put, sit under the blow dryer for a little bit. And then after I get everything done, I'm about to film. If I can find another camera so y'all can watch me film, I'll set that up. Otherwise, I'll see y'all done. I'll, I'll see y'all when I'm done creating this content. But comment down below and let me know if y'all seen that story on the internet, what y'all think about it, what you would have did. There's one thing about it. Hmm. 
It's very rare, but some days I might edit the night before and it go live the next day. But most... So our skincare routine is done. Now we about to do some inventory. Like sometimes when y'all order, sometimes when y'all order from my store, I add extra stuff in y'all packages that I don't account for on the website. Like if I add an extra pair of glasses, I don't go and remove it from the quantity. So I know my quantities is messed up and I would hate for someone to order something and I don't have it. So I need to count everything, update the numbers, and then we're going to purchase the new domain. Because remember, I told y'all I'm ready to let go of Curvy Grace, and it's just going to be being Grace. accounted for and organized so now we got to go update the website with the updated numbers let's see how far off we was I'm at the gas station with Darius. Hopefully they got some damn boiled peanuts. When did y'all last see me? I wanna say we was doing inventory and updating the website. Y'all bought the new website. I haven't done nothing else with it yet. Um, I went and laid down and I edited the skincare reel and then I edited some of this vlog. But I got a question for y'all cause I did use a little bit of the extreme gel this morning. And you see my hair is turning like it's flaking. The natural hair girlies, what gel do y'all use that don't flake? Because I feel like everybody talks about the extreme gel, but no one mentioned that it flakes. And I didn't, I had some of that other conditioner on my hair, but I feel like that shouldn't be an impact because are you not supposed to moisturize your hair when using the gel? If so, I don't want to use that gel. But what gel do y'all use that don't freaking flake? Oh, you got me some peanuts. Oh, you know I bring them nuts for you, baby. I got them nuts. And they spicy. Cajun. Hot nuts. Thank you, thank you. Mm. You can put them in the cup holder. But yeah, I might eat my peanuts, y'all. I don't know where we going. I just want to be under his set. Oh, she want to be as a passenger princess. Ain't worth a damn. Mm. She ain't going to keep it. She ain't going to be a second pair of eyes. She ain't going to. Say, hey, baby, look at that. She ain't going, no, I'm saying, hey, baby, watch out for that. None of that. Let me eat my peanuts. How about Y'all, 
the lunch was good. Hawkins don't ever really disappoint. Like this location specifically in Five Points don't ever disappoint. It was real good. I'm full. I had got cold, so he went to the car and got my jacket. But I had this um, Hong Kong wonton soup. Mm -mm. Chef's kiss. My drink was on point, so I don't have no complaints. I was just on a news website. I'm disgustingly full, like I said. I am so full. I, just, I'm, I ain't even eat a lot of food. It's what's crazy. Darius is like, you barely touch your food. I don't know how I got... I think it was that liquor and them appetizers. That's what it was. But did y'all see what happened in Baltimore? It happened like yesterday or the day before yesterday, but it's so freaking sad. They just gave an update, or at least I'm just seeing the update. And apparently when, okay, well, if y'all didn't see, Baltimore has a bridge as most cities, but it was a, a container ship that was uh, going through the city and it lost power. And apparently looking at the video, it even caught fire and it hit the bridge and the whole bridge collapsed on the boat. So of course, any cars that was on there, workers fell into the water, depending on how you fell, the bridge fell on you, God bless, bless them. Prayers to that family, you know, like that's a very sad situation to wake up to because it was like four o'clock in the morning. But the uh, bridge fell and they just gave an update that six of the bridge workers are unaccounted for. And at this point, it's been so long, they not sitting up on the water just waiting to be rescued, you know what I'm saying? So they announced them as being dead very sad situation but there's this point now i don't know if y'all remember el faro back in the day that boat um lost power in the middle of nowhere during a, how, a hurricane so there's just like in this particular situation it was bad it was very bad but they lucky they lost power like going through a city and that way people see what was going on they was able to get help and i'm sure that was less casualties el faro had way more people than six right yeah. That they lost. Yeah. Yeah. That the El Faro boat left out of Jacksonville, and I don't know where they was going, but they got caught up in a storm, and they just disappeared. They found the black box, and um, the people's family, the people on the boat's family, they got like a huge payout. But you know, money can't replace a life. Money cannot replace a life. So what, this man trying to next? get me. He's trying to get me to grocery shop, y'all. I mean, it's better to grow shop on a full stomach than an empty stomach. I need like, Not I guess by the time, time we get to the store, my food probably be the By the time around. she take a nap, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> I got a grocery list. Mm, that ain't what, you, what you got to contribute to the situation? You got the money? <laughs> I got a grocery list. You make me miss my locks. I can't wait to get my locks reattached, child. Woo. He make you miss my locks. Shut up. Yeah, I miss our locks. Because you know, our hair is intertwined into them. I feel like you did some voodoo or something. Had to. How I did some voodoo? Shit, I've been stuck. Before the locks. <laughs> you were stuck before the locks. Like, what do you mean? No, I don't know, dog. My yeah. locks ain't even been off a year. And boy, you've been stuck for the last 20, 30, 11 years. I ain't, I ain't stuck. I'm just, I'm just passing. Mod modulating. <laughs> Thinking methodically how I'm gonna make my next move. We'll see y'all at the grocery <laughs> store, and I don't even know if we're gonna see y'all at the grocery store. I can't. The people still have not gave me an update on my camera. It just, it's like they stopped freaking responding. And what's crazy with the Sony Protect? It's not through Sony. It's like a third party. So I don't have my freaking camera. When we get to the grocery store, I'm gonna need to be filming because I want to make a shop with me real. If you're an influencer, content creator, YouTuber, post your shorts. I don't give a damn if it's just you talking in the damn shorts. Post you some damn shorts. Them shorts done brought in at least half, 50% of my subscribers, and I'm almost at 7K. Post you some shorts. But I want to go to Sam's, and I want to do a shop with me um, short because people tend to like those, and I'm about to, well, we about to spend the money anyway. So we'll see when I see y'all. So I'm at the kids. Ooh. football practice i just left the mailbox and one of our subby sisters sent me a package so let's unbox it together and see what it is so we decided or i decided that we was just gonna do an online order so i did an online order at sam's that will be picked up tomorrow some of the stuff does have to be shipped because it wasn't available in stores 
and then I did a, a Win Dixie DoorDash order. So this is what it looks like inside the box. Her business is called Immortal Glow. Y'all make sure y'all check her out. Okay, it includes a letter. A variety of different papers. Let's see what the papers say before I get into the goodies. It might be directions or something. Okay, this first one says, Be in Grace. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for allowing a mortal glow to be a part of your self-care wellness journey. You got this. Miss Delock, a mortal glow. The website is www.immortalglowwellness.com. Thank you, sis. This first one is a step-by-step -step guide. We love directions. The second paper is regarding the Rose Glow Water. This one is regarding the Glow Oil. I'm excited about this stuff. I love me the, the oil. And then this one is the face soap. I already see the face soap. So this is the face soap. It has a heart shape. It's turmeric. Shea butter turmeric neem essential oils face and body safe but I would be, I'm going to use it on my face um, some more papers in here this is our next package Ooh, everything is wrapped up so tightly where my scissors at child I was in here cutting my damn hair y'all know I texturized my hair that's one of the worst things I ever damn did I wish somebody had told me or taught me about my natural hair when I was younger because I thought a texturizer was the right thing to do. It was gonna loosen up my curls, child. That was just like getting a darn perm. So I was cut, I cut off all my little straight edges or straight ends in the back where it was texturized. But this is our first item, which is the Glow Water Face Body Hair Refresher. It has aloe vera, vitamin C, witch hazel, rose extract, spray directly on your clean face or through hair or scalp as desired i love this i'm going to use it in my hair rose water is always good for you i like the bottle it's so hard it's actually glass so it ain't like i'm talking about it's so hard it's so sturdy that's what i meant so this one next one here well, i hope this is a body oil i really hope this is a body oil i'm gonna be too excited i'm moving too fast Okay, so Island Glow Body Oil, Vitamin C, Camo, Orange Peel, Sunflower Oil, Essential Oil. I wonder what, what you use the oil on. That's why she got these papers in here. That's right, sis. Face Body and Massage Oil. So you can use it all over. I like that. Rose Glow okay thank you sis i appreciate you for sending over everything this is everything she sent you all. check out her website check out her website but yeah i ain't got too much of nothing going on i'm happy i was able to skip out on grocery shopping because i really didn't feel like going grocery shopping but now we got to figure out what's for dinner for the kids Good morning, y'all. So we just left out the house. We're on the way to Sam's to do this first set of pickups. Some of the stuff wasn't available in store, so they're going to be shipping some of the stuff as well. So once we get that, we're going to do a haul. But baby, do y'all look at BMF? 
we just watched the new episode of BMF and it was real good. A lot of characters got out of character and a lot of stuff happens. I ain't gonna spoil no, um, give no spoilers. But all I'm gonna say is when I seen Lucille pick up that bat and was about to whoop Charles behind with a bat, like, oh shoot, it is about to get real. A lot of stuff happened. So that's not a spoiler what you just said? No, cause I don't know why Lucille picked up the bat. They didn't not even know Lucille picked up a bat. That ain't a spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler is saying things like... Why she picked up the bat. Exactly. <laughs> okay. What was your favorite part of the episode? Not, that'll be a spoiler. What was your favorite part? When they were shooting. Oh, it was two shootouts going on at the same time, y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all who was being shot out and all that stuff, but it was two shootouts going on at the same time. And it threw me because the scenes was flipping in between each shootout. I'm like... The editing is top tier. <laughs> the editing is top tier. So when this getting posted, they'll probably be the scene the scene of This get, goes up Saturday. So today is Friday. Friday. Yeah, this goes up tomorrow. Okay. Well, hopefully y'all be there and caught the uh caught BMF by then so y'all will be able to know what we're talking about. Yeah, they were shooting up some shit. This go around. I be wanting to know that this really all go down type shit though. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause this supposed to be, I know you can't really make what it. What they a, say, this is loosely. Right. That's why I'm trying to see how loose it is. <laughs> hey. Oh, Lord. This is loosely based on the true story. What? What I didn't know, y'all know Meech be wearing a wig in that um series. I seen on Instagram they had his real hair braided back and it was tucked up like how the girls be having their hair when they putting on wigs and you know doing sew-ins and then they had the wig flapped up and it was blowing it down around his edges I'm like this whole time I thought this man cut his hair to look like his daddy and it's a wig so I wonder who all wearing wigs in that um series it's probably a lot of people I know Neo had on the wig that wig was horrible <laughs> that wig was horrible that was giving Tyler Perry mm -mm. It was a little too exaggerated. Yeah. I feel like Charles got a wig on. And Char baby, Charles was trying to sing in that episode, y'all. And honey. Sing this little heart out. That boy <laughs> stressed. He couldn't sing under them. He was damn about it. Damn. Let me stop. I almost told y'all something else. Well, shit, he was damn about to beat her ass. I mean, not beat her ass. Get his ass whooped. <laughs> That's who Lucille had to battle on. What y'all think Charles did? Comment down below if y'all already watched the episode. And... Tell me what y'all all know if y'all have not watched the episode. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think Charles did. Charles did. This is going to be a quick grocery haul. This is everything that we got. So I seen these on TikTok. Excited to try those. My son talking about that's going to be his first victim. We got some bacon, breakfast, pancake dogs, chicken wings, bread, rolls, breakfast bowls. This mix is real cool. If y'all got kids that may be interested, that's a good ass mix. Shredded cheese, bacon, garlic, hot sauce, garlic, granulated garlic, eggs, some juice, ranch, cheese, butter, not oil spread, butter, <laughs> Pan uh, pancakes, pizza, broccoli, chicken bites, Capri Sun, cinnamon rolls, because we're about to make the little, um, Easter bunnies out of cinnamon rolls. We're going to do that a little later on as dessert. Uh, cinnamon sticks is breakfast. And I think this is everything. How much y'all think we spent? Comment down below and let me know. What I will say, it was over 200 and under 500 And it wasn't 300 <laughs> So comment down below and let me know how much y'all think we spent. <laughs> I just came in to tag along with you. You in here shopping. Rags and towels and stuff. Grab you a bike. I ain't got this. Yeah, I don't even shop. 
So we are back in Marshalls looking for some cleats for the kids. Is this not the kids section? Cause I don't see no cleats. They don't sell cleats no more? You'll be saying you don't like that style of shoe. You know? it's cute. I said you be saying that. Well, I do. Um, yeah, you ain't seen no cleats. No. I love Marshall's jewelry section. These are cute. Let's see if we can get Darius to grab us something. Something. It's just to sell your ass. And I hear you, bro. You nigga ain't gonna get me. <laughs> back here. This big ass thing, eight dollars. Smell that, sell you like that. Okay, so we are. We also need some. Wash legs. I want a multicolor pack because everybody is mad at me right now that I bought them a bunch of black towels. So I'm probably gonna get something like this, but I don't want pink. Hello. We also came in here for some body wash. Body wash. I think oh. Darius is about to end up getting this one. I love Thinning Fog products. Teak wood is like a more manly smell. What you think? I like it, I like it. Okay. And then I ended up getting these, y'all. It smells yeah, so it freaking smells good. Better. I smell that from over here. That do smell good. I don't know if I like that one better or the... Uh, What's the other one? Eucalyptus, you said? Eucalyptus mint. You know, you don't like mint on your body. You don't like the tingliness, so you might need to put the mint down. I had him use some Dr. Barnish, y'all, and he's talking about his nuts was icy. <laughs> hey. So you need to put the mint one down. They always got something crazy at the checkout line. This looks very interesting. Very interesting. I don't have like a real coffee maker though. I got the Eminem ones too. It's a top, it can be a topper. Or, or the topper is usually, I don't like dry. toppers. Just next stop, Academy Sports, because my babies need some cleats. Dairy sell for the Marshall checkout treat. You know, they put all the little snacks at the checkout. That's the spicy mangoes. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. They're good. Let me see. You like it? Oh, you should just share the chest. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. It's, I can taste the spiciness, but it's, it's not spicy. Kick, but it ain't nothing too mm -hmm. major. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So from what the guy's telling us, you can use soccer cleats for football. Look, these little 41, these ones, all right, and it's green, little 40. No, bad Ain't no ankle support though. I don't know if they need no, ankles. I'm good. I'm good. They light. Yeah, let me see. Is it right there? This is right on time. See, gotta have an eye for the deals. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, my girl. You getting both of them the same ones? You already know. <laughs> Should I get down to four or four and a half? Y'all, Darius be having the kids decked out like they going like out whole uniform got a match like they going to an event <laughs> you might them ones look a little thinner up there but is these kids or adults or is it all the same i'm look thick Okay, youth right here at the bottom. 
Okay, look at you reading and learning stuff. So now we over here looking at gloves for the kids. I really like these. This match their uniforms, but don't got their size only large and extra large. These size. These might work better. Y'all just figure it'll, it'll fit better. Usually the t it'd be hard for their right. hand to get to the it'd tips. It'd be bad at the tip. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. I don't got no size small in this small, so that gotta be it. Even with these over here, small is the smallest size. You got youth. That's what I got. I got a youth uh -oh. small. I was looking for a different color besides just a little basic white and black. Uh, Y'all, I'm feeling real childish. This used to be one of my little favorite candies when I was younger, and I ain't seen it in so long. So I definitely gotta grab me a pack. Oh, home 10 calories. Look at that. <laughs> I'm about to give y'all a quick haul of some stuff that came in from Amazon. Stuff that was in the mailbox for a minute because I don't ever check my mailbox. And then also a few things that I bought at Marshall's that I didn't show y'all. The stuff that y'all see me pick up, I'm not going to show y'all again. So Darius grabbed this Sand and Fog candle, um, Tahiti Vanilla. It smells real good. It smells real sweet. I'm so happy I found this candle. I've been looking for them everywhere since I found them on clearance. And I, mm, I'll scoop that up, baby. It got marked down even lower on clearance. Now it's $8. I'm about to scoop this up before somebody walk by it. Stick a pin. Walk by and step on it. Ugh. All right, so let's get back to the regular schedule program. So I showed y'all the candle. Um, this next package, I feel like these some headphones. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, these some headphones I gotta do a review on from TikTok shop. So I'm gonna try those out sometime during the week and do that review. I've been waiting on this. Okay, so this is a lip gloss, K-A-B Lip Oil. I seen Peyton post about it on Instagram. I'm like, let me go try it. Let's see what it's, ooh, it's leaking. That's why it wouldn't come out. The oil is running out. It smells good. Mm, it's thick. I guess we know it's not something to keep in my purse. I probably shouldn't have put it on. I might file a return and get them to send me a whole new one. Is that considered defective packaging? Mm hmm Okay. There is that, yes. No there is no report. <laughs> Showed y'all those soaps. We got two more boxes. I got work tomorrow and Darius is off the whole weekend. I'm jealous. Okay. So this is another TikTok shop item. And the headphones are free. These are free. It's a free sample. And I got to do a review for this. I wanted to try these. Here, Finity um, hair, skin, and nail packets. You just drop them in your water. This is like collagen. I needed to um, get some more of the pep, I think it's called Pepside Collagen I usually get from Target. But when I seen these on TikTok shop and seen I can get a free sample, I'm like, we're gonna go ahead and try out the Hairfinity ones. And I always heard good things about Hairfinity ever since I was younger. And we know I'm trying to grow these little naps or whatnot. But these are the little sachet packets that you can put in your drink. I don't believe it has a flavor. I have to let y'all know to add to any water or juice. So I don't believe it has a flavor. I'm thinking about the Celsius packets that I ordered to add to my water. So this is just for collagen purposes. But I do feel like I need to increase my water intake. So I ordered some Celsius packets to kind of give the uh, flavor water vibes. And then my niece was like, if you gotta do all that, 
You ain't drinking water. Okay, so last thing was some Nairobi foam for what I'm trying to define my 4C curls or coils. It stays, I've seen this um, as a replacement for gel. They say this holds your curls or coils in place really well. It doesn't foam and then it doesn't leave it hard and crunchy. So we're going to try out Nairobi. But that is it, y'all. We have a steak and shake for dinner. We stopped by after we um left Dick's. But just like that, we done. You want to talk to the vlog? Darius got his little $40 cleat finds. That's all he cared about was whether the kids had cleats or not. That was his big thing to get done. And he got it done. But so y'all already know. Mm-hmm. Y'all could have been anywhere. Mm-hmm. Doing anything, mm -hmm. watching anybody, but y'all are here with me, yeah. And for that, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching the uh, vlog. I tried to make this one long and thick like me for y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Everybody out there, 